Namach Nachman Nachman Miman. We're learning Chai Moran, the life of Rabbi Nachman. It's a beautiful book here. You can see it's leather or fake leather <laughs> with the Nanach embalmed, or whatever you want to call it, raised in, in the cover. Very beautiful book, has uh, censored things in this book. Maybe we'll be merit to say them. Anyhow, we're up to the second, uh, second Siman, the second uh, issue. HaTorah Kras Yeshua, the teaching in the Kut Imran, call Yoshua, Joshua. Alma B'Shabbos Tshuva, Rabbi Nachman said this teaching, delivered it on Shabbos Tshuva, the Shabbos of Repentance, that is, Sha'ach Rosh Hashanah, the Shabbat that follows the New Year's. Between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, it's called Shabbos Tshuva, the Sabbath of Repentance. V'az Yizki B'Azchal HaTorah B'Samuch Sa'Pasuk, and then he mentioned at the beginning of the when when he was saying this this teaching the, he mentioned this verse from Isaiah and on the chair there was an image of a man on it above and then in brackets it says here and then afterwards in his holy handwriting this is, this verse is not mentioned until the end of the teaching, as it's explained at the end of the in, it is explained in the book. See there. So this we saw in the introduction to the Kutiman that we just were studying that Rabbi Nachman would often do that when he gave over the discourse, he said it one way, and then when he wrote it, he would change it and alter it. Okay, so when Rabbi Nachman said this holy teaching, he held with both his hands to the two handles of the chair that he was sitting on. And he was, he was like rocking, he was shuckling with the, with the chair. And he said with fear and trepidation, trepidation and great self-sacrifice, very strong, in these words, when one sits on a chair, then he is a man. And he said it in Yiddish, in, with these words, as min zit stoif der still, the milt is min a mensch. V'advarm stumimod. And these words are, are very s- sealed off. They're based on this verse of this great vision, this great prophecy that Yechezkel had. So Rabbi Nachman said these words. Afterwards, he finished this whole awesome teaching as it is published in the book. And the time when he said this teaching, this Torah, he did not speak at all of the kavanot, the meditations, the inner meanings of, from the, of the month of Elu. Just afterwards, when he finished saying this teaching, the Torah says, after he prayed the evening prayers, the night prayers, and he did Avdalah, he did this, this service, the ceremony of, of Avdalah, which we say to separate between Shabbat and the weekdays. Then he went back, and he spoke about the te- his teachings as it was his way, always. He would bring back, he would discuss his teachings. Then he, he addressed and he spoke to the important elders of, uh, of the followers, Shiyashu that sat next to him, Oz Shayu Mispalim, that sat next to him then, Arizal, that they were praying with the Sidur, the prayer book of the Rizal. The Rizal was the master Kabbalist that revealed great esoteric and uh, holy intentions and meditations that are, that, that are based on the liturgy of the, of the Sidur. So these followers of Rabbi Nachman were on the level, they were praying from this, this book, 
they were using these intentions and meditations in their prayers. So he addressed them. And he said, Tom Uli, tell me, Eich Meumaz now. Where is it alluded and hinted in, these, in this teaching, this Torah, Kol Shalel, all the intentions and meditations of the month of Elul. Ve'chrishu v'lo'anu, and they were silent and they did not answer. Ki be'emes, because in truth, i'yafshe b'shum often lo'havin me'atzmon, it is impossible in any way to understand of oneself, soda kavano shel elul, the secret of the intentions and the meditations of Elul, Ech Mumazim Batoranal, how they are alluded in the in that Torah in those teachings. Vitsiva Lahavi the fun of Sidu Arizal. So Rabbi Nachman commanded that they should bring before him the Sidur, the prayer book of the Arizal. Ufasach also and he opened it, the Herald of Name Akvan Shalom. And he showed them the intentions and meditations of the month of Elul. And then, afterwards, he opened his holy mouth, his awesome mouth, and he began the Galos Plos to reveal wonders, how all the intentions and meditations of the month of Elul are alluded there, in a wondrous, awesome way, very wondrous. As it is explained in, in the book of Likut Imran, the collection of Rabbi Nachman. But it is impossible to, to write properly, to describe the extent that of, of the impact on our hearts as kol ani'imus v'aniflos, the pleasantness, the bliss, and the wondrous of the Tmim Deim, of the, of the perfect uh, Creator, of the, the perfect intellect, Shirgashti Oz, that I felt them, Beisha Zachisi Lishmoa when I merited to hear, to hear this. Gam Diber Acher Shabbos Me'atora Nal, also after Shabbos, he spoke. Uh, he spoke about these teach, this teaching. That speaks about Moshe Rabbeinu and Yoshua, his student, the and the and the tabernacle. Shehem bechinas nukud elyona nukud atachtona vevav. That they are an aspect of the upper dot of the aleph and the bottom dot of the aleph and the vav, the line that goes between them. And then he told me in this language, in every place that they they are they gather together, Rabbi Vitalmid, a teacher and his student, This aspect is is made. Moshe the aspect of Moshe, Yoshua, Moshe being the upper dot, Yoshua the lower dot, and the dividing line, that's the tabernacle. Behold, all of this was at the beginning of my drawing close to Rabbi Nachman. This is Rabbi Nachman speaking again. At that point, I still had not merited to write before him the large teachings. Just the short sayings. Kasafti batmi I wrote by myself, Shalobifan of not before him. And I had longings for a long time, the Kabbalah Zosa Torah Etzlo, to receive these, this teaching from him, in his holy handwriting. And I did not merit this until after the holiday of Purim. It's like almost like uh, five months later. That I was I was with him in the city of Medvedev. I can't pronounce it Medvedevka. For us, Yashavti the fun of, and then I sat before him. Vetakti ator azos the fun of, and I copied this teaching before him. Um piv yiko elai, and from his mouth he 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 read to me. Mitoch sifro. From his book, from his holy handwriting, and I wrote on the paper. 
And then afterwards, whatever hour close to the night, close afterwards at night, Amariti the fun of, I stood before him, when he was already sitting on his bed and he wanted to go to sleep. And I spoke to him then at great length. And then he revealed to me the three commandments that the Jews were commanded to do upon their entering the Holy Land. Which is pertinent to this teachings as it's printed at, in that place, in the sixth teaching in the Kutiman, Ayin Shal. And he concluded then and said, that all these three commandments are an aspect of repentance as it's printed. Then I asked him, how are these three commandments an aspect of tshuva? So he answered and said, Rabbi Nachman told Rabbi Nathan, This you should say already. And with these words I left. I left his presence of blessed memory. And immediately I began to ponder this. And immediately on the way that I was going from, from my house to the, where I was staying, I think it's a mistake, me base so from his house to where I was staying. It says here, me base the Holy Blessed One uh, made available to me a very pleasant novelty. And when I arrived to my lodgings, I found the tools to write. And I immediately wrote what the Holy Blessed One was gracious to me with this. This was at the beginning of my ordination, my education, the Chadish Petrosa to make novelty from his holy teachings. That he educated me with his mercy, in his wondrous ways. And the next day, basically, the fund of Mashkasafti, I brought before him what I wrote, and it was good in his eyes. And he laughed from happiness. And he replied, and said, You are capable of learning if you will be diligent. In Yiddish, Do vest kenin learning as do vest bagerin. Ach afo pikein, even still, Achakach uchachti lafstik milchadish, ad she elmad posikabe. I was forced to to stop at this new way of bringing novelties from the words of Rabbi Nachman's teachings to make our, to develop them and make novelties from them until I would learn a lot of the codifications of the Torah, of the Halakha, of the laws. And then a lot of Kabbalah, the books of the Kabbalah, and then only after I went through those, this process he commanded me, the Chadish, to start making novelties from this Torah. And then he commanded me to write the novelties and to write his Torahs as it is explained elsewhere. <laughs>